back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today for you, I'm going to be swatching the new Butter London Dream on Spring Collection for 2022. This collection consists of four shades and they all look really nice together. They're very, have like a retro-y feel. I see it as like a flower pattern for some reason when I think about it, these colors together. So the first shade that we're going to be looking at is called Empire Red. And this one does have a slight shimmery sheen to it. It kind of pulls an orangey tone to the overall red shade. I feel like this, the best way to describe this sort of shade of red is like a poppy red. And it is really pretty. It does cover nicely. It covered really well in two coats. And the shimmer doesn't really dissipate with top coat, which is nice. So if you liked it for that factor, it is going to stay. The next shade is called High Street Cream. And this one had potential... I just don't love it. There's something off about this formula, in my opinion. So it's kind of like a sandy shade, and it also has a little bit of a shimmery sheen in it. Again, kind of pulls a yellowy gold tone. But for some reason, this polish just did not apply super well. Like, I put it on the second coat, and it was still, like, draggy and patchy. And then I even tried a third coat, and I still felt like it was not up to my standards for the finish of a cream. But I'm going to go ahead and, of course, show you that. But it's just like something about it makes it patchy. I feel like I was leaving enough time for it to dry in between, but maybe you need to go like extra long, although it didn't really feel like it was pulling up the previous coat. So I'm not really sure why it was doing that. And I was like, you know what? I'm already three coats in. Might as well see if a fourth coat works, even though I know I wouldn't ever really want to do a four coat to wear polish. But four coats did get me closer. I feel like from afar you wouldn't be able to tell that it was kind of patchy, but still. Eh. The next shade is called Pop Orange, and this one is a really, really happy kind of sunny orange. I really liked it in the bottle, but when I put it on my nails, to me it kind of felt like an American cheese color, so I didn't like it as much on the nail. But that was just my personal like take on it. Overall, it's still a decent polish. It uh, kind of had the same sort of problem that High Street Cream did, whereas I felt like on two coats it was still looking a little patchy. However, it did apply better than High Street Cream. So I did get closer to full coverage in about three coats, which I'm going to go ahead and show you next. And overall, this one was okay. I feel like it has the potential to get better with age. You know, like some creams, they like apply better after a few uses. I feel like that might be the case for that one. Then the last shade has a really fun name. It's called Waterloo Blue. And it's such a nice shade of blue. It's kind of like a periwinkle shade, which I think we're going to see a lot of this year since that's the color of the year. And it's a pretty color. And this one had a really nice formula, very similar to Empire Red. And the fact that it only took two coats to reach full coverage, its formula was easier to work with. It applied nicely. And it's just a really nice, lovely shade of blue. So that basically wraps it up for the Butter London Dream On Collection swatch video. All of these are available now on the Butter London website, which I will have a link to down in the description box below. But I would love to hear what your favorite one was down below. And also, like, what came to mind when you saw all of these colors together? Because, I mean, I do feel like it has a nice color story. But it makes me think of something particular, but I'm not 100% sure what that is, if that makes any sense. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!